So I guess all three of y'all are gonna sleep in here? If it's gonna take three, three, three of us to sleep in one bed just to convince Janice that plus size models are beautiful, then I'll do it. Where you guys all sleeping? Wow. I'm here to vindicate myself. Vindicate means that you actually committed something in the first place. I did commit it. What'd you commit? To being a plus size model. That makes no sense at all. It makes sense. Vindicate, right? Come Vindicate on. means like you committed a crime and then you're being oh, I don't want to hear that. If you're gonna use the term, Janice, use the we use did commit a crime. First minute Chandler met me, Chandler came and approached me in a very disrespectful manner. I guess he wasn't the center of attention, so he felt like he had to make it a point or effort, like, hey, I'm here, and you better give me my attention. You just used the wrong word and didn't know how to use it. I didn't all. use the wrong word. Vindicate. Yo, if y'all know what a word means, come to me. I'll help you out. You know what a can of ass whipping means? I do. Uh, I've had a few in my day. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because if you attack me, you mean really? Sorry, I'm, just uh, I'm not going out like a punk. Really? Really? I'm not punking you. I'm really? Just you. I'm really? But in your opinion, you can commit any crime. Okay, at all. Dr. Phil, have a seat. <laughs> Jeez, I'm not bald, or nor do I have a mustache. In fact, I have abs. Get the hell out, Dr. Phil. Phil. You look more like Dr. Phil than I do. Uh, no. You all the same shape. I look too good to Dr. Phil. And if you got fat jokes, I got a switchblade to cut your ass, too. Really? It's going to take an army right, to get me off your hey, ass. I'll tell you what, I sleep right there. I'll you slap get your ass to sleep. To sleep. I will slap you to sleep. Do it. I just informed me that she used the wrong word, and uh, she chose to fly off the handle at that point. I think that basically she's almost incapable of having a, a conversation with without offending her in some way. That might have come on from, you know, her getting picked on as a child for being overweight or something like that. I actually speak louder than words, sweetheart. Action. Are you guys okay here? And we have a gym out there in case you want to use it at some point in time. You gonna be my gym when I'm done whooping your ass. <laughs> he had a problem with my weight. He didn't say or actually call me fat. But anytime you approach a model and say gym or something, it's like, what point are you trying to make? That's what made me upset because if that's constantly gonna be thrown in my face, I'm gonna constantly throw in his face how ugly he is or how the guy's hair is all over his head. Is that a model? Hell to the no, that's a fool. We're just trying to figure out where everybody's going to stay. Yeah. Don't worry, wherever the hell I want to, I'm taking over. I'm going to sleep on the Yeah, yeah, I pushed the wrong button on the wrong system. All right, you guys stay in here. Until you get the OK from me, just stay in here. And everybody else, stay out of their way. We will, if we can. Funny, Chandler. Thanks. I think that Lana's very confrontational, very defensive, and very volatile. I think if you're going to be in the modeling agency as a plus-size model, that you need to be overbearingly nice and appreciative for the opportunity. His ass won't be across the street, but I'm I'll be right, right here. It's out of control. It was just like craziness. So by the end of it, tensions were high, and it was quite obvious that Chandler and Alana were not going to be getting along. You picked the wrong sister to prove a point with. I'm for real.